Okay guys, small change of plan. Originally, I told you guys to use a piece of this two inch wide flat bar. I totally forgot that we cut off two inches from this 12 by 18 sheet of aluminum that is considerably thicker compared to this flat bar if you see that. Um, that kind of thickness will help. Okay, we've drilled out the mount. I haven't cut it off of the rest of the aluminum. Okay, so that's mounted on there. I just put the screws in finger tight. If you look here, I'm placing this just at the edge of the opening here for this rod mount. And at this rod mount here, it's exactly 10 inches. So we're looking for five inches as being our center point. We want to mark that spot and line up the um the shaft with that five inch mark. And I'll put that in place. Okay. This line here represents the midpoint of the printer. And notice this is the orientation, this is the back of the printer. We're going to end up cutting this down. I have my step motor wires going off to this right side when you're standing behind the printer because I'm planning to have my electronics off to the right. Okay, the step motor is clamped in place. I actually used a piece of a uh, 1 8 inch flat bar, put it behind the screws, pulled this all the way back just to have a uniform gap between both screws and make sure this was pretty plumb to the back part of the frame. But on this side, now that we know how much of this we'll need, we just draw a line across there that we'll use to mark where we'll be cutting this aluminum. And that'll be the mount. Okay, we have this clamped in place, properly gapped for the screws, lined up. And I'm eyeballing this because it's not it's not a precision uh, installation right here. We just have to make sure that it's attached securely to the frame. And that's where we'll drill. We'll drill the hole straight through. Once again, I'll be using a drill guide to make sure that I keep this perpendicular straight through. And I'll take care of that and come back. Okay, there we have one put in. The aluminum is so thick, it may actually act, act as a nut because it gets tapped when you put the screw in. You still need to secure the back of this with a screw. You still need to do that. Don't be tempted to just let the aluminum support the weight. We'll try to get this roughly in the middle again of this one inch square. And we'll repeat the process in that spot right there. Okay. Eyeballed it pretty close. Even if it's not, it still works because as long as this is the motor itself is in the right place. You tighten these down all the way. Being careful not to strip the threads on the inside. And that is stiff. That's what we want. Strip it down stiffness. Then we'll take our coupler. We'll place this on. This isn't the final position for the coupler. We really just want the coupler on for right now to help us um, mark the spot we want to drill through the Z platform. I go with a 
eight millimeter drill bit that will also fit in there. And that'll definitely mark the spot for me. And the drill bit is pretty straight. Now with that in place, we can drill, mark the spot. This is very solid. Right now I have the bed propped up with the clamp, just holding it up, keeping it off, or just making some room for myself to work. So we'll let that down. See on the underside of there, where the drill bit is making contact. Okay, if you can see the mark there, that's that was made by the drill bit just from us twisting it. So we'll start the pilot hole right there and I'll come back. Okay, we drilled this from the bottom side where we had the spot marked all the way through. If you drop a bit in here or a nail or something that fits in there, you should be able to see that bit lined up inside the um the coupler so we know to have that lined up and we'll slowly start since we have that starter hole we'll start expanding this hole larger until it's large enough to accommodate the TR8 nut okay I'm working on this um, I put a board underneath this and drop the coupler down. You can even take the coupler off right now just to make sure that this board can sit down flat and protect my high price stepper motor. Um, I just opened it up with a 1 4 inch drill bit. Next stop is going to be an 8 millimeter or a 3 8 drill bit. Then after that, I'll see how the um, the TR8 nut this here fits. This will end up going the larger flange side through the bottom, so that the weight of the table is supported on top of this. Okay, we managed to get that hole drilled out. Turns out that even though the TR8 nut is 10 millimeters, you need a hole that is slightly bigger just to allow that to fit in there a, a little bit of a gap around it just so that you can properly center this when the nut is gone the threaded rod should sit pretty much center in that hole as you move the as you move the print bed up and down it should stay in the center if it does then you've got it lined up just right once we have our TR nut Set in the appropriate spot. Use our punch, mark your holes, and then we'll drill these through. I'm going with just two, and two is just fine because all the all the pressure on this is coming from the top because this will rest on the bottom, and the weight of the Z platform keeps this in place. And two screws with nuts on the other side prevent this from getting loose and turning like this is this is in there very tightly it's, it's not going anywhere so I don't have a concern about that once that's in place we can take our threaded rod and thread it through and then connect this to our connect this to our coupler And it slides in if it's a coupler just fine right there and then tighten those bolts and now that we have the position of this we can firm up a spot for our y-axis transmission rod that you see right here